Hey guys, Tychondris here doing a toy review for what is a retro toy. Now, I was looking over some of my old um, Kenner, well, old toy review videos, and I mentioned this guy in a video review for the Laser Shot Predator. And I said I'd get around to reviewing them, and I think I completely forgot to. And I just dug them out now to do a quick review, and I to do a quick review for this guy. And at the end of the review, I just want to mention something else as well. So here is the review for, and here is, he is, the Night Recon Predator. Now this is pretty much, I think, the final ever Predator that Kenner made. Well, it was the final um, mass-released one, uh, even though it didn't get that much of a big release. There was a few others kind of prototypes that were made and concepts that were done up but this was one of the few to actually make it to store shelves and this bizarre con contraption, this bizarre construction is a actual predator believe it or not let me just bring the light in over so unlike other predators in the Kenner wave he came with no biomask whatsoever um, I'm not sure if it was, he was intended to have a biomask at some point. Uh, he came with one accessory, which was this knife. Now, one thing I found really interesting about this, this knife is actually the exact same sculpt of a knife that came with uh, the old Tommy z Knights um, motorized vehicles. I picked one of them up ages ago, and I was surprised to see that the guy... That the the figure for that Z Knight Z Knight um, kind of motorized thing, very similar to Zoids, came with a knife that was almost identical to this one. So it looks like Kenner and Tommy must have has had some sort of uh, use similar factories or something for making their gear stuff. Uh, onto the figure itself, he has the same basic articulation as most Kenner predators. So he has like the five points of articulation. His legs can go forwards. And backwards not too much but can go forward and backwards his hands can swivel all the way around now one of the things that makes this guy so bizarre is that apart from his very strange gangly appearance is he doesn't actually have any he has very little to no armor he only really has armor on his legs on the shins on his shoulders and then he has this kind of weird almost needle like um, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a plasma caster like the shoulder mounted cannons that standard predators have but it's um, just a wrist mounted version of it one of the other things that's kind of weird and bizarre about it this guy is his jaw actually can come out now you can see it was glued in place but I think the glue came loose over time and it pops out um, it is possible that when they were designing it, he, he might have had to remove the jaw to put a mask on him, but he didn't actually come with any mask. And you can see his head is absolutely massive, and it very, has a very xenomorph look to it, in the sense that it has, you know, the very long ridge. Uh, if I have any of my alien figures close hand, unfortunately I don't. His dreads are just as weird. He has very short dreads for a predator, and they're just kind of clumped into one big mass at the back. And then he has this weird, um, as I said, he has very little armor. His uh, kind of wrist, the stuff on his wrist here doesn't look like armor, it looks like it's supposed to be wrappings. And then he has like the armor plating going all the way down, and he has very long, kind of gangly arms. Now, I do hope. Um, I do like the de actually I do like the detailing on his shin w plates. It has a very kind of um, I wouldn't say Aztec, but it has a very kind of ancient feel to it. Um, I do hope that this guy gets a release. Uh, uh, sorry, a NECA homage release. Um, he's a very bizarre figure, so I do hope to keep that kind of bizarre look to him and make him as gangly. I'm hoping that if they do make them, they might use the Super Predator mold and maybe do some new sculpting on it. Because I know Necker is planning to do a super articulated uh, Super Predators from the Predators movie. Because then the original ones only had the swivel 
hips um, didn't have the kind of ball socket hips that the newer ones have. Now the other figure I wanted to touch base on again, I reviewed him before is this guy. And everyone, uh, people who know the Predator line know this guy is Laser Shot Predator. And the reason I wanted to touch base on this guy quickly again is because I wanted to bring in one of the previous Predators I reviewed from NECA, which is this guy, which is the, oh, if I just zoom back out, it is the Spike Tail Predator and his cohort in arms who I also have which is this guy so the team they mentioned on the back of the uh, box for Spike Tail is he's supposedly like the clan leader for the team it's his team with him Lost Predator which is this guy or he's also known as Borg Predator because of all the techno technology that he uses and this guy and this is the only guy that we're waiting on for NECA to make a figure of and I do hope they make a um, really good figure for him he does look like he'll need a lot of new tooling parts in the sense of armor plates and stuff like that they'll probably just use the same standard uh, buck which is this newer ultimate style predator buck but I hope they don't cheap out too much on him and just reuse a lot of parts even though as you can see both Borg and um, Spike Tail uses similar parts. In fact, I was looking at him a bit more closely and his entire chest area, the chest armor, is actually the same armor plate as Borg's except with an added sculpted part at the front. They removed this backpack and they sculpted new stuff at the back. Um, but other than that, he's pretty much the same, same figure. They even have the same waist piece, just done in different colors. Uh, which is why I said in the review for this guy, he has the, if I turn him around the back, he actually has the net launcher, the, the, you know, the kind of small predator net launcher is on him. Whereas if I just flip this guy around the back, it's a bit harder. Uh, you can see it there on his back. He actually has that net launcher as well. Um, the legs are a little bit loose on mine. I'm going to have to give him a fix. But there you go, guys. I just want to do a quick review for... This guy, mainly, uh, which is the Night Recon Predator. Again, Ferger, uh, Kenner line completist. He's definitely one that you want to pick up. He is a bit pricey to pick up. Um, I managed to pick this guy up a good few years ago before the Kenner line kind of... The Kenner line is odd because it varies in price. They can get some stuff that are dirt cheap, some of the kind of more common predators, but some of the kind of rarer ones, like this guy, tend to go for silly money. Uh, can well can go for silly money. You can be lo you can be lucky and you can pick out one for um, pick them out for decent cheap prices as well. So it's always a luck of the draw when you're pick looking for predator stuff. But that aside. He is a good figure. I do recommend picking him up. I, again, hope NECA really do an awesome job on him when they get around to doing him, if they do him at all. Um, he is a kind of a bizarre out there design. So, I mean, if you look at him compared to, even compared to, uh, to Laser Shot, he's actually shorter than Laser Shot. He's like, a, almost like a, a midget predator, but he has really weird um, proportions. So I kind of hope they do something interesting with uh, and I could do something interesting if they do get around to doing them but um there you go guys just a quick video review I hope I didn't waffle on too much and as I say in my video reviews uh, feel free to like the video if you like uh, if you want to feel free to comment on the video if, or if you want to point out anything I might have missed in the videos feel free to do that and feel free to subscribe to my channel so there you go guys just a quick video review for the vintage Kenner Night Recon Predator.